billion dollars that the U.S. government just released for small business owners. And so I thought I'd just give you a little heads up about what I'm learning about the process, what it takes, what it even means to have a disaster loan. And so we're gonna cover all that in this live. So I have a little cheat sheet here for myself and for you. Um, so first let's talk about what is an SBA disaster loan. Um, so as you know, coronavirus has spread across the world and it has caused all sorts of devastation to small business owners. And so uh, the US government wants to help out small business because you know, the U.S. understands that small business owners are the foundation of this country. And so what they're offering is loans with very special terms um, as a result of this disaster, because they want people to keep making payroll. They want people to be able to pay their debts moving forward and to be able to keep their equipment and, you know, all of the things going, their rent, um, keep all of all of the economy moving forward. So, um what an SBA disaster loan is, it's a loan um, that's going to be at a 3.75% interest rate. So a really good interest rate. A lot of small businesses don't qualify for that kind of interest at all. Um, so uh, it is uh, for up to $2 million um, with for um, and a small business is defined as having under 500 employees. So um, the other really cool thing about these loans is that um, you can you have a year uh, before you have to even make your first payment back. So this is going to give you some time, some bandwidth, some breath um, if you're struggling in business right now to um, make you know make the things happen that make business run. Um, but most importantly, to qualify for one of these loans, you have to prove that your business was negatively affected by this virus. So, um, you know, I, I can't imagine that most people, most businesses aren't unless you run a hospital <laughs> or something similar. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about what information you need to know about um, applying for an SBA loan. Um, and the first thing I want to say is just in going through the forms and what's required uh, the information that they need is actually pretty darn invasive. Um, they're going to need to know everything about you, everything about your business, um, because they need to establish your credit worthiness. They want to make sure that, you know, you're going to have the means to pay it back when the time comes. Like, so they want to make sure you were okay before and that you'll be okay after. And so they've got a lot of questions to try and make sure that they're giving this money to the best people possible. Uh, the other thing you need to know is that you actually need to have your 2019 taxes filed. So a big part of the application process is going through um, your three previous tax years to make sure, um, you know, they just want to know. They want to see what you've got, want to see what you did um, and how things went. So you definitely want to have your 2019 taxes filed before you start into the process of applying for that SBA loan. The other thing that's really important is that you want to check with your insurance company. Um, some insurance policies have strange writers that cover odd things. Um, so if you have an insurance agent um, that you're working with, I would highly recommend that you reach out to them and just see, um, make sure, double check, because um, that could disqualify you. If, if you're eligible for an insurance payout, pay, pay out, they don't want to necessarily give you an SBA loan. So you need to go that route first for sure. So you will need the last three years of tax returns. Um, so they'll need the, the actual form. So there's a, a form that you'll have to fill out that has the information in it. And then there's also another form that you'll have to fill out that allows you, um, it allows them to go into the IRS and get that information. Um, it's easy to think that the government is this great big thing that all communicates well together, but in reality, that's not how the government works at all. So um, the SBA has to get permission from you, written permission to send this form to the IRS to get them that information. So that's definitely one of the things that you will need. You'll also need a comprehensive list of all your liabilities. So anybody that you owe money to, they need to know about it. And again, that's just going back to that credit credit worthiness piece. They just want to make sure you're good for the money, that you're not drowning in debt um, before the crisis started. And you know, if you're already up to your eyeballs in debt and then you take out more loans, that's not necessarily going to help 
a small business thrive. Um, so they do need a list of all of your balances, how much the original loan was for, what your monthly payments look like. And so there's a schedule that's laid out of, you know, where you need to list out all of those things for everybody you owe money to kind of regardless um, as, as a small business. So I think this is gonna be challenging for a lot of business owners who aren't necessarily so up on say the QuickBooks or whatever. Um, you need monthly earnings for the last three years. Oh, and it says years, I'm not sure why, um, but the last three years. So they want you to go through and list out how much you earned in every month for the last three years. So month by month, January this, February this, March this. So if you've got your QuickBooks, your bookkeeping up to date and current, uh, it shouldn't be too hard to go through and pull all of that information. Uh, if you're a little behind or a little less organized, that might be a little bit more of a challenge, um, but that is something you absolutely have to have to begin to fill out that application. So if you want support in filling out these applications, um, certainly it's something that I could talk to you about. There are professionals with the Small Business Association that can help you walk through too. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, <clears throat> this isn't something that I've you know, provided before as a service, but um, you know, in these troubling times, these difficult times, uh, sometimes having somebody who can talk you through um, and help you maybe even make a decision about whether or not this is the right thing for your business at this time, um, or whether or not you even qualify. There are a couple of like particulars about whether or not you even qualify. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or to reach out to the Small Business Association. Um, they can help you too. But I hope this information was helpful and that you found, um, you know, whether it's this or something else, um, if you're a small business out there, I'm rooting for you. I mean, I know that you are the foundation of our, our country and these are hard times and um, anything we can do to help support you and get you through to the next steps, you know, we're creatively rich, we're here for you. So good luck. We'll talk to you later.